Here's a practice test paper on chapter 4 exponential functions. We have 15 questions in this. Initially we'll have short answer questions and at the end we'll have multiple choice questions. Question number 1. A species of bacteria divides into two every five hours. It has two parts. Part A is initially there are 15 bacteria. How many bacteria will be there in 10 hours? And part B is what is the approximate growth rate? So for all these questions, I'd like you to copy them, answer, pause the video, and then look into my suggestions. Let's go through the question once again. It says, species of bacteria divides into two every five hours. That means what? It means it doubles every five hours, right? So divides into two means doubles. in five hours so that is what we are given so we are given the doubling rate so from here we can always find the equation first and then find how many bacteria will be there in 10 hours so we can write down the equation as let us say at any instance the number of bacteria is m for us in that case m will be equals to initial number of bacteria which is 15 given to us times their doubling so we'll write 2 as a factor by which they are multiplying over t over doubling rate which is 5 hours so that is what it is now in this equation m is number of bacteria and t is time in hours right now we'll apply i mean we'll we'll substitute the values and then find out the answer from this particular question right so now from here we can say we can get how many bacteria will be there in 10 hours so number of bacteria m will be equals to 15 times 2 to the power of instead of t we'll write 10 hours now so we get 10 over 5 correct which is 15 times 2 square right that is 2 square is 4 so 15 times 4 and we get that as 60. so the number of bacteria after 10 hours will be 60 right so that is our answer for this particular question now let's move on to part b which is what is the approximate growth rate now growth rate how can we find that to find growth rate what we will do is we'll utilize the information which we got from part a that is in 10 hours we have 60 bacteria right now we can also write exponential function in the form of m is equals to initial number of bacteria which is 15 times by what factor are they multiplying let's say r right over to the power of t right so that will give us the growth rate do you see that so we'll utilize this particular formula to find growth rate it's kind of very important to understand this aspect and now we know after 10 hours we have 60 bacteria so we get our equation that is 60 is equals to 15 times r over 10 okay now when you divide 60 by 15 what do you get you get let me write down here when you divide 60 by 15 you get 4 equals to r to the power of 10 so what is r equals to r will be 10th root of 4 do you understand 10th root of 4 use your calculator find the answer and we find well 4 to the power of 1 over 10 it is equals to 1.15 so we get 1.15 so r is 1.15 right so from here what is the growth rate now that is also very critical and i've seen sometimes uh, students not very clear about it they will write 1.15 as a growth rate well the growth rate is not 1.15 actual r is 1 plus the growth rate plus the growth rate in percent so we can write 1.15 as 1 plus 0 0.15 so growth rate is 15 percent you understand that is the growth rate so our answer is actually growth rate is 15 percent i hope that point is absolutely clear to you now, when you do exponential functions be clear about it so growth rate is 15 percent and what you really got earlier was growth 
factor. Let me just remind you with this so that you, there is no confusion. So let's learn was growth factor by what it gets multiplied in all 15 times what right so growth factor is 1.15 okay but growth rate this is growth rate is 15 percent 15 percent more than 1 is 1.15 that is how you need to understand it i hope that's absolutely clear and that helps thank you